Okay, welcome everyone to this episode of Forage Craft. Right? Not right, Twisted. You, you said you wanted to say. Yeah, we're gonna be heading out to the dungeon and get the full experience. Uh, and we're gonna go defeat the Ender Dragon. I have all the en the eyes of Ender. We have potions of slow falling and uh, other stuff. Water. I have gapples. He doesn't because he didn't prepare for the gapples. I'm not giving him my gapples because they're mine. We, we probably don't need, I think we're probably over prepared, but I don't want to say that because that'll probably jinx us. So you coming? You coming? Yeah. So, so this, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, this first time beating the Ender Dragon on hard difficulty legitimately. So it's fun. So we're going and going and going and going. Then we'll get the shopkeepers, because we don't have any structures on the server, so I need to add shopkeepers so we can get things like Elytra, the dragon head, and uh, shulker boxes. Because unfortunately, I made a goof when I made this world, and I, I, I'm, fi I'm fixing it to the best of my ability at the current stage. So, so we come over here, we got our nice little uh, campsite thing going. Yeah, that's because I just built it. No, I start in the dungeon so I know where I am, and then I build up to down to it. So come, come with me, come, come follow me. Uh, we have there are beds down in there. I, w I wanted to start it at the house so we could get the full experience of walking to the dungeon. See, so come on down here. Got a ton of stuff going on. Looks really nice and stuff. What's what? Oh, that's a cave. I, I encountered this cave, so I decided to add it in. And that's so supposed to be like a fallen bridge or something. You like you like it? And then that's just a a bed or sled or something. I don't know. And we are in the dungeon now. We got glow squids in the fountain. Fountain glow squid. And then you want to take the tour while we're down here before we head into the Ender Dragon, just because it's been a, a little bit. So we got the uh, lava heating room over here with some nice cozy seating and, and good lighting, the lava and the water and stuff. And the water's the fire su suppression. I guess we could. Uh, and then we come over here, we go across here. Uh, we got ourselves some, uh, we got the, uh, barracks, which is where you might want to set your bet, your spawn point here. I'm just gonna, oh, apparently it's nighttime. And, yeah, so, you got your spawn point set? Okay. Right. Right. And we got a storage room with some, some kind of basic stuff, like, maybe there might be some iron stuff in there, and just spread throughout as well, some other building blocks and things. I, I spread out the items myself. I got all this stuff, and just spread throughout and just and then we come back over here we got a uh we got a pet hangout area where we can leave them if we want we got a zen room over here with the very like the plants and things and a glow squid okay come come with me come with me come with me come on come on and we got uh, the library over here with lots of bookcases and fun seating areas. This would be a very great place to come if you're in college and you have to study somewhere. And then we come over here to the uh, ravine access room. Uh, just sort of a mine. You coming? Just the, the ravine access mine room, if you know what I mean. Just like, look, look. Isn't it pretty? With all the items sitting around? Okay. Now, to the end. To the... You want to put the last one in? I think I grabbed a couple too... I crafted a couple too many eyes of Ender, but whatever. So. Fetch. Put it in. Put this pumpkin on. I got a resource pack that makes it easier to see with that on. I don't want to have to deal with that. This and put the slow falling. Yeah. 
Yeah. And in. I am in the end. And I'm waiting for it to load, and I can't see very well, so I'm switching back to my helmet. Did you jump in? It's just loading. Okay, so we're not floating in the middle of nowhere. Good. Okay, good. I and end stone. Yes, I'm gonna be excited. I'm excited to gather a bunch of this. Let's just uh, mine up here. I'm pretty sure whichever way you're facing when you spawn in it is the direction towards the center of the island, I think. And I cannot see anything because of this fog. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to the pumpkin now. Okay, so let's see, where is the ring? Ah, there they are. There's the ring. So, I can't. wait. I should have brought some uh, bottles so we can get the, uh, the dragon's breath. I, I, I knew I wanted that, but I didn't think about that, so I guess I'll get that later. The brightness isn't going to affect it. It's, I, th I think it might have something to do with the render distance. Where is this dragon? I should really just not bother with the helmet. I should just not bother with the pumpkin. I should have got- or I should have gotten- Why is he attacking us? I didn't look at him. Whatever. Okay. The dragon. Why did you just close the curtains or whatever? I just I can't see which ones have the towers. Uh, do I build up scaffolding? Should do it. Don't want, I want to make sure I don't get a swung in. Can you just keep its attention for a minute, okay? And we got the uh, I got the crystal. There we go. I got this one. There's an Enderman below me. Uh, I got water. The water got it. There we go. That should deag. That water deagroed Enderman. That was my tower. Ah, uh, okay. Doesn't matter. You you got it. Uh, let's see which ones still have the. Uh... Oh, dragon! Dragon! Oh, I missed. Whatever. I didn't take much damage. Slow falling. Why is this Enderman attacking me? I'm just gonna slow falling. Save myself the trouble. Let's see. Okay. Come on. The this this tower. Let's go here. Why? What, what? Are you trying to pile up water? Where's the top of this one? It's really high. Uh, come on. Am I almost there? I'm there. There we go, I got it. Slow falling is very nice. I'm glad I made those with the phantom membrane. And did you get some of my scaffolding again? Let's see, this one's probably got one. Did I get which one? I can't see. The one with the water? Yes, the one with the water that you left, I did get that one. I'm towering up one right now. On where? I don't know. I don't know which ones I've gotten. Come on, hit the. There we go. And I got that one too. 
so I can see it from up here. Uh, are there any others I can see? No, I cannot see any others. And the dragon is right there. Oh, and he hit me away. Thank goodness for slow falling, and my gosh, he just whacked me all the way across the map. Regen and go away, Enderman. I got that one, the one that you're next standing next to. Yeah, but I, I still got that tower, so we shouldn't need to get that one again. Where is the dragon? Should keep an eye on my uh, timer. How much? Got a minute left. Alright. Do uh, the potions compound or stack or whatever? You don't know? I, I would think they would, but then again, it's not always sure. I got. Come on. Got that one. Can I see any others? That one's gotten. Did you get one of the ones with the uh, bars? Okay. Uh, it is really dark. Uh, let's see. That one's good. Let's see. I think we got that one. Oh, there's some. Those are some of my scaffolding. Aha! This one. And the bar. falling again. I think there are two more. Why don't you, you do that and I'll just make get these last two that I can see. Yeah, quick. There we go, got it. Low falling potions are nice. The last one is a barred one. Let's see, can I shoot it without having it through the corner? A little higher. Come on, I should totally get that. Whatever, I'm just gonna go with the old fashioned approach and just tower up and punch it. Got it. Eek! Is the dragon attacking me? And there should be one more. One more. The other barred one right next to it. And then I think that's all of them. One, there we go, got it. I think I think that's the last one. If it's still being healed when we're getting it, uh, then we'll we'll see if it is truly the last one or not. Assuming I can see it, aha! I found you. Oh, particle effects are really annoying. Come on, I want to hit it. I've got one more. Uh oh. I'm just gonna quickly uh, turn off particles. Uh, let's see, uh, video settings, particles minimal. There we go. I should take care of that. What hit me? Oh, there's an Enderman. Eek! What is whacking me? Okay. Uh oh. Sitting 
there. Come on, I should be able to hit it. Why can't I hit it? Alright. I don't... I didn't bring my axe. You had a lot of stuff on you. Where are you? There you are. Why did you look at the Enderman? Die. Come here. I'm trying to kill the Enderman. Give me a second. Come on, come here. Stop running in circles. Got it. Get your stuff. Get it on. Now there are two attacking me. Get off. Me. And the... Breath. Come on. Come on, die. So it does not appear to be healing, which means, I, I assume that means we got all of them. So where did it... Just, I, I liked when I could see it back in the day. Out of the breath. As long as you get your armor and your weapons back should be fine. How many levels did you lose? Eh, that's not bad. Come on, why can't I hit this thing? Where is... Come on! Come here! Come down! Got it! I hit it! My bow skills are returning from back in the day. Maybe. Come back, come on. <laughs> I can't see a thing because it's so dark. I'm on. Come on. Oh, it's coming in. It's coming in for the melee. Gotta get the melee. Uh oh, it's doing damage. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I should have done that earlier, but whatever. It just whacked me into oblivion. Come on. What you doing? I'm gonna fly away so I can hit you with my arrow? Come on. Better hurry with that. Uh, Gap will heal. Okay. At least the Endermen are at least getting aggroed by it, too. Maybe they'll do some damage. Help us out here. Come on, I just. I can't see it. Is there a setting that I can make? Come on, get off me. Go away, Enderman. Go away. Come on. Dragon's Breath, that's what's doing damage. Come on! Why are you ang angry at me, you stupid Enderman? I need to get close, but I can't with the Dragon's Breath. Okay. Why does it have such insane knockback? And it's gone again. 
Let's see. Uh, I've only got a minute left of my slow falling. Why? Should have made more. I'll have to deal with it. Let's see. Where is it? Where did it go? There it is. Where? Hit it! Hit it! I'm glad I grabbed three stacks of arrows at least. Should be plenty. Should be. Come on. Threads? Right down on top of me. Where did it go? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And it's coming in for another landing. Can we stop with that? I'm glad your water was there. You can't hit it with a ranged attacks while it's hovering. Come on, where's his hitbox? Oh, and I'm gone. I got it. MLG, super fast uh, water tower. Oh, the Endermen are tracking it. Kind of. Got it. I hit it. So we're almost halfway done. We're almost halfway done. Come on. You think? So they've been practicing. Minecraft is normally a bright game. Oh, did I hit it? It's coming in. We can shoot it a bunch while it's coming in. Maybe. Oh, water, water. There we go, got it. Gotta whack it. Oof. <laughs> that is sad. Come on. Come here and just stand still, Ender Dragon. Come on. Come. Oh, I, I just remembered we didn't bring any pistons and stuff for the egg, but I, I think we can just leave the egg here. Put some water down. You. I'm saying you put it down because you have two Endermen aggroed on you. Get rid of the Endermen and get out of the breath. Is it right above us? It is. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, I'm fine. And Enderman. Eat gapples. I mean, I'm actually plowing through these. My gosh, Ender Dragon. Just make up your mind whether you're going to do knockback damage to me or not. And stop flinging me. Yeah. 
Just don't look at the Enderman. It's right there. They're in the portal still. Come on, where are you? Yeah, like if you die, it would just remember what happened last, and as long as you don't pick up anything in between, it would just restore it to what it was. Ark, well, Ark has hot restore like spots on the hot bar, but it doesn't keep the armor or the inventory. Well, the inventory is automatically sorted by weight. It's coming down. You ready? Come on. Why? There we go. Come on. Noise much. Come on, almost there. Almost. I'm not sp I'm not getting the crits, but I'm getting a lot of damage. I'm waiting for the last What? I don't I get some damage. I get an I know, I know. I know. Apparently, I'm just a really bad shot, too. Come on. I got the kill. I got the get out of the portal. Get out of the portal. Get out of the portal. Let's just be, just be sent back. Got it. Let's get that. 114 to 127. My gosh. <laughs> There was only one thing that fell that I saw. Oh, now the sky is clear. Now I can see everything. Is it just because of the Ender Dragon? Where's the Where's the second end portal? Oh, you got a torch or something? Gosh. Yep. Can I have it too? Can I have the achievement too? Can I have the achievement too? Thank you. I don't know. Where is that portal? The, se the second end portal. You can have it in a sec- Well, I, I killed it, so- And I didn't die. Achievement? Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. I don't feel like going through there just yet. I might go get it later, but uh, for now, I think we're good. I'm gonna put it on decoration in my house, okay? Why? You don't have a house to put it in for decoration. Not yet, you don't. You'd better. If I give this to you, you'd better build that house. Build that house. Come on, do it. All right. You just... Okay, I'm going back to the overworld, and I'm... I'm leaving. And... Do, do I want... Okay, so I'm gonna be dubbing over the audio because, uh, like, Twisted's mic didn't work, and so yeah, let's just go through. I see the player you mean. Down on Ninja 27? Yes. Take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. That is how it chooses to imagine many things when it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, very flexible, and less terrifying than the staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices before players could read, back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water. It dreamed it created, and it dreamed it destroyed. It dreamed it hunted, and was hunted. It dreamed of shelter, ha, the original interface, a million years old, and it still works. 
But what true structure did this player create in the reality behind the screen? It worked, with a million others, to sculpt a true world in a fold of eh, and created a eh for the eh in the eh. It cannot read that thought. No, it has not yet achieved the highest level. Then it must achieve that it must achieve in the long dream of life, not the short dream of a game. Does it know that we love it, that the universe is kind? Sometimes, through the noise of its thoughts, it hears the universe, yes. But there are times it is sad in the long dream. It creates worlds that have no summer, and it shivers under a black sun, and it takes its sad creation for reality. To cure it of sorrow would destroy it. The sorrow is part of its own private task. We cannot interfere. Sometimes when they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them. They are building true worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them of their importance to the universe. Sometimes when they have made, not made a true connection in a while, I want to help them to speak the words they fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them this world you take, for truth is merely eh and eh. I wish to tell them that they are eh and the eh. They see so little of reality in their long dream, and yet they play the game. But it would be so easy to tell them, to too strong for this dream. To tell them how to live is to prevent them living. I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing restless. I will tell the player a story, but not the truth. No, a story that contains the truth safely, in a cage of words, not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Yes, player. Use its name. Down on Ninja 27. Player of games. Good. Take a breath now. Take another. Feel air in your lungs. Let your limbs return. Yes, move your fingers. Have a body again, under gravity, in air. Respawn in the long dream. There you are, your body touching the universe again at every point. As though you were separate things. As though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain, father sun, mother moon, ancestral spirits, animal spirits, jinn, ghosts, the green man. Then gods, demons, angels, poltergeists, aliens, extraterrestrials, Leptons, quarks. The words change, we do not change. We are the universe. We are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now through your skin and your eyes. And why does the universe touch your skin and throw light on you? To see you, player, to know you, and to be known. I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you, down in Ninja 27. Sometimes it thought itself human, on the thin crust of a spinning globe of molten rock. The ball of molten rock circled a ball of blazing gas that was 330,000 times more massive than it. They were so far apart that light took eight minutes to cross the gap. The light was information from a star, and it could burn your skin from 150 million kilometers away. Sometimes the player dreamed it was a miner, on the surface of a world that was flat and infinite. The sun was a square of white, the days were short, and there was much to do. And death was a temporary inconvenience. Sometimes the player dreamed it was lost in a story. Sometimes the player dreamed it was other things, in other places. Sometimes those dreams were disturbing, sometimes very beautiful indeed. Sometimes the player woke from one dream into another, then woke from that into a third. Sometimes the player dreamed it washed words on a screen. Let's go back. The atoms of a player of the player were were scattered in the grass, in the rivers, in the air, in the ground. A woman gathered the atoms. She drank and ate and inhaled, and the woman assembled the player in her body. And the player awoke from the warm, dark world of its mother's body into the long dream. And the player was a new story, never told before, written in letters of DNA. And the player was a new program, never run before. Generated by a source code a billion years old. And the player was a new human, never alive before, made from nothing but milk and love. 
You are the player, the story, the program, the human, made from nothing but milk and love. Let's go further back. The seven billion 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 atoms of the player's body were created long before this game in the heart of a star. So the player too is information from a star, and the player moves through, the, through a story, which is a forest of information planted by a man called Julian, on a flat infinite world created by a man called Marcus, that exists inside a small private world created by the player, who inhabits a universe created by Shush. Sometimes the player created a small private world that was soft and warm and simple, sometimes hard and cold and complicated. Sometimes it built a model of the universe in its head, flecks of energy moving through vast, empty spaces. Sometimes it called those flecks electrons and protons. Sometimes it called them planets and stars. Sometimes it believed it was in a universe that was made of energy that was made of offs and ons, zeros and ones, lines of code. Sometimes it was believed it was playing a game. Sometimes it believed it was reading words on a screen. You are the player reading words. Shush. Sometimes the player read lines of code on a screen, decoded them into words, decoded words into meaning, decoded meaning into feelings, emotions, theories, ideas, and the player started to breathe faster and deeper and realized it was alive. It was alive. Those thousand deaths had not been real. The player was alive. You. You. You are alive. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the sunlight that came through the shuffling leaves of the summer trees. And sometimes the, the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the light that fell from the crisp night sky of winter. Where a fleck of light in the corner of the player's eye might be a star a million times as massive as the sun, boiling its planets to plasma in order to be visible for a moment to the player. Walking home at the far side of the universe, suddenly smelling food, almost at the familiar door, about to dream again. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it, through the zeros and ones, through the electricity of the world, through the scrolling words on a screen at the end of a dream. And the universe said, I love you. And the universe said, you have played the game well. And the universe said, everything you need is within you. And the universe said, you are stronger than you know. And the universe said, you are the daylight. And the universe said, you are the night. And the universe said, you, the darkness you fight is within you. And the universe said, the light you seek is within you. And the universe said, you are not alone. And the universe said, you are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said, you are the universe it tasting itself, talking to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said, I love you because you are love. And the game was over and the player woke up from the dream. And the player began a new dream. And the player dreamed again, dreamed better. And the player was the universe and the player was love. You are the player. Wake up. Escape. Escape. Hit escape. There we go, we're back. We're back in the overworld and Yes, so that was fun. Now we have that and I will now that we have that we can get the uh the I will get the uh the trader building built in the end and then we will call it good and I will get some stuff and I guess I will bring you guys back when we have that done but for now uh, thank you Twisted for coming to help me kill the Ender Dragon and we got that fun fun time going maybe we could put the egg up on up there on where that lantern is maybe maybe no I want I Come on, maybe we could put it on top of the fountain. That would be neat. Don't you think? I'm right here, you know. I could very easily kill you. Okay, so I guess I will catch you guys in a minute when I have that built. Uh, now thanks again to Twisted, despite his many annoyances. Uh, we'll get ourselves an elytra and some shulker boxes from that trader, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll cat and then 
I'll wrap up the episode after I get that stuff done. So I guess, yeah, I'll catch you. Catch you in the next episode. Uh, or, actually, I'll catch you in the next clip. No, I'll see you then. Bye, Twisted. You can head on home now. Uh, see ya. Yeah. Uh, that direction, across the water. Just keep going. Well, actually, uh, go more to your left. More to your left, like, diagonally. That would be stupid, and you would be very dumb. So don't do that. Uh, so I guess, yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, so... Bye! Okay, so welcome back. It's been a minute. Uh, let's see. So we got... I'm, I'm just wearing this so I didn't aggro him. So we got the entry point over here. I went to the second end to get some coarse fruit. We got the entry over here with the stairs. And we got... Over here we got the shop. Uh, I'll take it off when I get inside. We got three shopkeepers to go with this. Uh, we got the Enderman here. It's called The End. And he's got the Dragon Egg Head and Elytra. I will buy this eventually when I craft some fireworks. Uh, we got up here. We got uh, the second floor. We got uh, pst, the Silverfish with Dragon Breath and Soul Speed. Seems a little fidgety. I, I tried to get an Endermite, but apparently that mob is disabled. Whatever. And we got up here, we got Moving Day, the Shulker, with uh, Shulker shells. So yeah, uh, and then we also have the Chorus Fruit growing around, because I thought that would be neat, and it just, it grows really fast. I, and I, ha I grabbed a bunch of Chorus Fruit and plants and stuff. gonna put that back on and I'm gonna head to the portal uh, and then I'm gonna head on out so yeah that is the uh, end shop we got here what is this loud enderman's problem uh, yeah so that is that and uh, yeah so if you guys enjoyed watching us fight the ender dragon and our uh, our rendition of the end credits uh, uh, like comment subscribe check out my other videos and twisted you might post at some point in the next year uh, but for now yeah so yeah, like comment subscribe check out my other videos and series I will catch you guys in the next episode where we uh, do something I'm not sure exa I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be doing but we're gonna be doing something fun I hope so I might have an elytra by then too. So I guess I will catch you in the next episode. Bye.